Hey everyone, it is me, Chunsin Chang, and it's actually 1 a.m. exactly. I am actually was about to go to sleep, but turns out, you know, Vladimir Putin wasn't fucking around. <laughs> so I thought I would just do a quick video, you know, A, start uh, farming some of that SEO, because I bet you there's a lot of people panicking right now. And yeah, shit across the board is just going berserk, you know. Stock, like, first of all, cryptocurrency is fucking dying. All right. So in fact, I actually just bought like some put options on Bitcoin on my Ledger X account. You know, for those of you outside the United States, you would use Deribit or FTX, I think. All right. Uh, and then you just buy put options on Bitcoin or Ethereum. Right. Basically, you're shorting the market. So everything's just going to shit. Um, I see that Bitcoin actually was. Actually, I don't know how far did it go. I thought it was like near the thirty-four thousand, about to break below thirty-four k, but. You know, whatever the case is, there's just panic everywhere. So the first thing I have to check for, because the first thing, oh yeah, this is definitely fear trade. Look at this. The dollar index is already up a shit ton amount, right? Yeah, the market is open. So everyone's going into dollars. Everyone's selling off, right? Look at this. Ugh, shit. Look at the, look at the futures for the American markets, right? For those of you outside the United States. And look, crude oil is surging, Okay. So pretty much everything is going kind of somewhat to the globalist plan. The problem is I'm not sure how Putin fits into all of this. I don't know if he's actually just playing around, right? He's, he's, part, he's playing the bad cop of this equation or if he actually really is like, you know, a, a renegade. At this point, I don't even know, man. Uh, so we got that and you look at the bond markets. I mean, look at this. Everyone is jumping right into the fucking bonds. Everyone is fucking scared. Right, that's why everything's selling off, and of course, it's affecting all of the tomb forks too. You know, I was actually able to pull out one hundred and twelve dollars, you know, uh, just now, and I only and it was only income from Avax. Right, I can't even touch my Phantom because the gas fees across all blockchains are just completely out, uh, just just out of uh, just insane. It's just insane. It's one a.m. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be like really cheap. But it's not because again everyone's just panic dumping right now yeah i bet klaus schwamps must be happy about what's going on or maybe he's not i don't know so uh, i mean i could give you all the info to make you rest assured i mean gregory manorino does a much better job of that all right i mean i kind of just went through it let me see i am curious what's the mmr i don't know does this thing even update at this hour <clears throat> 10-year yield, 1.97. 10-year yield is 1.88. Yeah, this thing's not updated yet. So the MMR, so the market risk indicator is actually going to be a lot lower, right? Because, you know, shit's going whatever. But, I mean, I don't even know what I'm going to say. Like, I mean, you have a couple options, right? Like, you can buy puts right now to protect yourself for a week or two. You know, just ride out this Russia FUD bullshit, right? You know, whenever that happens. I mean, at this point, Ukraine now belongs to Ukraine, right? Wait, Ukraine belongs to Russia, right? You know, we'll we'll just have to we'll just have to wait and see. You know, today is Thursday technically, right? Yeah, so it's Thursday, and then we have Friday. So the next forty-eight hours will, you know, to be honest, I just don't. It's a little hard because Gregory Manorino said that if Russia were to invade Ukraine, which is what's happening basically, the markets will tank, right? And that's what we're seeing here. And of course, we know that cryptocurrencies are going to tank. So uh, the markets will eventually shrug this off, but this is after we get a massive dump, right? And that's what's happening now. So there's going to be a lot of pain. That's why I bought the put options. I don't know how long it's going to last. It's going to last maybe at least a couple of days. And then we go into the weekend, people cool off, right? You know, they... You know, they, they think World War III is coming. I mean, I make tweets about World War III, but I'm really kind of halfway kidding, right? Because no one wants to risk World War III, right? And that includes Putin. Right? On the other hand, Putin's been backed in a corner, too, you know? Because everyone's always, like, scapegoating Russia, right? But, I mean, who's forming troops at the border of Russia, right, with the NATO shit, right? And do you know what NATO really is? It's a fucking suicide pact. So if Russia were to attack any NATO na nation... All of Europe and America automatically declare war on Russia, and then we have to go invade Russia. So that's World War III. So Ukraine wants to kind of join NATO, but then 
uh, they're technically not part of NATO, so this is Russia's only chance to secure their borders, right? And because the West is so hostile towards, you know, Russia for being white and Christian, well, I mean, the choice is pretty obvious for Putin because I'm still surprised a lot of you don't know this, but Ukraine, like 10 years ago, was somewhat friendly to Russia, and then we overthrew the government through, you know, George Soros and all this other shit. And then you have fucking retards like Hassan Piker and Destiny uh, on Twitch. I actually kind of saw it on XQC stream just telling him otherwise. It's like just, it's like this Western fucking propaganda bullshit is just so annoying, and that's why we're in this fucking mess. So anyway, Putin's like, you know what, fuck this shit. And in fact, Right, uh, Putin actually said the same thing in his speech, like, what, a few days ago, before he decides to invade Ukraine. So, if he doesn't invade Ukraine now, then Ukraine joins NATO, and then Russia's fucked, right? And then that'll be that. Because a long time ago, they did promise Russia, after the Soviet Union collapsed, that they would not expand NATO. And what's the first thing that happened? The West broke their promises and just kept expanding NATO and putting more troops, guns, missiles pointed at fucking Russia. You know, so... Anyway, I probably want to bring your attention to this because usually geopolitical events, I mean, this is what I used to cover before with cryptocurrency stuff, but pretty much all the bullshit that you're experiencing, because for all you new people, right, all the, like, you're wondering why crypto is going down. It's going down because central banks manipulate everything and two geopolitical events. That's the only fucking reason why this is going down. It's also the same reason why it goes up, all right? So, uh, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. So... If you're not going to take this seriously, then maybe uh, maybe when Bitcoin drops to 25 grand, 20 grand, and your tomb forks go to like near zero, then maybe you'll actually take what I'm saying more seriously. So, anyway, let's see. The American regime and all the oppressive global H word governments are so detached from reality that they can't do shit, and the world knows it. This is actually a good thing. For decades, a secret cabal of evil rich assholes have dictated world policy. All right, nothing happens by accident. It's all the central banks. Now their control slips further away. Well, for now, anyway. Uh, let's see. Because now that I see the surge in crude oil, I already know that, the, like Greg Marinario says, the next crisis after all this Russia shit plays itself out, and it will play itself out. Well, unless we all die in World War III. Um, the next thing is going to be an energy crisis, and you're seeing it being set up right now. This is the energy crisis, right? Because inflation is surging everywhere throughout the whole world. It's not just an American thing, all right? No matter where you are in the world, all right? I don't care where you live, right? I know a lot of you are now outside the United States watching me, all right? You have inflation. You have a shit ton of inflation somewhere, all right? And I'm pretty sure high crude oil prices affects you directly because if you actually Google what is made with oil... You're going to find that a lot of the products you use every day actually uses oil. All right. So the central banks need a scapegoat for inflation. This is perfect for them. So that's why I'm like 50-50 about Vladimir Putin. He's playing the bad cop or and therefore part of the scam. Or maybe he really is like, you know, a rogue renegade that's like hates, you know, globalists. I don't know. I, I just don't know. So let's see. So yeah, but with that being said, the the government, the, the Western governments are losing control. I mean, this leads up to the next part. Canada had to impose martial law to remove some fucking trucks. Like, the Canadian government overreacted so badly that they did martial law just to remove some fucking trucks. I mean, yeah, how can the world take us seriously after something like that? So you're gonna so I say Putin Ukraine is just the beginning. So you're gonna be seeing more of these events. Funny, funny enough, the the trigger event was Afghanistan, like our shitty withdrawal of Afghanistan and the embarrassment that uh, you know, thankfully, that our shit government uh, went through. So that means you know China and Russia especially are aware of that. So they go, you know what? So Putin goes, you know what? If they're that bad with Afghanistan. Right, because they lost to the Taliban. Like people with just tennis shoes and like torn uh, shorts and wear turbans or something. Right, because it's hot over there. Well, you know what? I'm gonna take Ukraine. Fuck this shit. All right, and that's exactly what's happening now. China has already t told their state media to not talk shit about Russia and talk talk shit about the Ukraine situation. 
You know why? Because you know what China wants to do, right? They want to walk over to Taiwan and take that shit over. Not just for cultural reasons, because like they, you know, technically it is part of China, but it's actually a very powerful technological center, right? You know, TMSC, TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Company, right? One of the world's largest chip suppliers and makers is in Taiwan, right? That's why it's called T. SMC Taiwan Semiconductor Company. Gee, do you and have you noticed? Well, you haven't heard much about the so-called chip shortage, but you know that computer chips are actually kind of at a premium right now. That's all. You, that's why you can't get new computer parts. Gee, do you really think China is going to be like, hmm? We can control the world's computer chip supply in an instant. I mean, shit. Look how Afghanistan went for the Americans. Shit. Putin just took over Ukraine. Nothing really bad happened. All right, you know what? Let's just roll our tanks and ships over to Taiwan. So I mean, it's only it's only a train stop and a boat skip away, right? These things are gonna just keep happening, right? And then of course, I mean, again, I don't cover politics anymore, but you know, my political context, right? For the few of you who still are with me uh, now that I don't do politics stuff, you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? The America First movement, Saint Nick, you know, they're gonna be making their move as a result result of this. In fact. The movement gets a lot stronger the more of this crazy geopolitical shit happens. So there's like a million fucking different things going on. So basically, that's the overall arcing reasons why everything's just tanking, right? It has nothing to do with technology. It has nothing to do with the fact that, you know, Phantom can't code their shit, right? Well, I know why people are panicking is because there's just stupid shit going on and people are just scared, right? Classic fear trade. Dollar index up by a shit ton. Bond yields are down, right? Because this this, ba this basically means that all the money that's being dumped right now is going is buying up bonds. When you buy bonds, the yields go down, okay? Because it's like supply and demand. It's like, well, why are we going to pay more interest when we have all these dollars? So we'll just pay you less interest. Just give us some more dollars. So it's kind of, so it's basically a diminishing returns mechanism, okay? Just look. Short-term to long-term bonds are all being bought up by a lot, all right? People are terrified, right? It's, this is the financial equivalent of duck and cover. At least that was like a thing apparently in the 1950s and 1960s here in America, like when the threat of nuclear war with Russia was like really at its peak, peak fe uh, fever. They taught their kids, there's a nuclear holocaust, just duck and cover and then hope you live. Like this was, and they actually have videos of, you can probably look it up on Google actually, they probably have the historical videos of that shit. So, yeah, and already I'm kind of seeing Bitcoin kind of pull, uh, rallying a little bit, right? 35k, so maybe I just wasted my money on puts. But you know what? It's money well spent. It's like, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. So... Uh, yeah, and then don't even, I'm not even buying a Tomb Force because, well, covering Tomb Force because... That's not my focus anymore in these content videos, but yeah, I mean, yeah. Have you seen two ohm and three ohm lately? There are two shares and three shares. Yeah, that shit's down. If if, if those projects are down, everything else is down too, right? The only thing that's doing well, funny enough, is Zilla and Snowy Owl. You know, Snowy Owl is down a lot too, but because it's compounding and APRing so nicely, you know, you know, I actually pulled out a pretty decent income from it. So anyway, I think I kind of covered everything, right? So you're just going to have to accept that there's more of this crazy shit, unfortunately. So what I personally think will happen is we got to let this Russia-Ukraine shit play itself out. Then we should get something along the lines of basically an energy crisis, right? Because crude oil is already surging like crazy. I mean, it's already at basically $97 a barrel. Then they'll blame inflation on crude oil, right? Which is bullshit. We have inflation because of central banking policy, right? Because they're not raising interest rates and they, the central banks keep doing this shit, right? They're printing more money than is possible, right? Look, I mean, look at this, all right? You want to talk about hyperinflation, you're looking at it right here. This is called the M1 and M2 money supply by the Federal Reserve, all right? It's called, the, that, it's called FRED, the Federal Reserve. <laughs> Uh, so, all right, you're not supposed to know these things, right? Just like Gregor Manorino says, you're not supposed to know these things. And then here's the balance sheet of the Federal Reserve that's buying up all... Like, you know who actually buys everything in the markets? 
is these fucking assholes, it's the central banks. This is their actual balance sheet that they allow us to know. They're buying everything, okay? When you guys panic dump, the Federal Reserve, the central bank fucking assholes buy what you sell, right? It's, it's called legalized theft, right? This is how they're destroying the world, destroying the middle class. That's why they're going to try to destroy cryptocurrencies if they can't control it, right? I mean, either way, they have they have multiple pathways to like fuck everybody over. So, how do you defend against that? You buy and hold, you accumulate, keep your day job, you pull profits every day, right? Which I just did. I pulled out 112 bucks, which sucks for me personally. But you know, if I was able to access my phantom income, right, my phantom staking vaults on Yield Wolf, right, or more for the stupid gas fees, FTM gas. Right, because yeah, this is this isn't even accurate. It's actually what is it? Coin tool. Yeah, let's look at yeah. See, yeah, this is more accurate. Yeah, okay, so it actually has come down. Uh, just when I started, before I hit the record button, this thing was at six thousand. Okay, it was at five thousand to six thousand. Okay, this is still way too much money. All right, I have to pay like a couple of phantoms to fucking unstake. Or withdraw a little bit from my yield wolf. So, okay, oh, look at that. It's actually declining. So, I might have been able to pull out like another 50 bucks from that or something. So, yeah, but, you know, I guess I'm in somewhat better shape than most people. But, you know, I'm still taking my hits too. But I've, I've been through this before, right? It's not as bad as it is nowadays, but that's because things are just so much crazier now, especially after since uh, stupid bullshit event in early 2020 that I won't name. So anyway, you just have to stay strong. Um, I guess if you're really in a panic, like, I guess you could just take a loss, dump everything, and then I guess just go hide under your desk. Um, I personally would not recommend that because you lose, right? You lose, central bank F-words win, right? They buy what you dump, right? And that's kind of what they also want. So again, 50-50. I don't know if Putin's part of this shit, but... When Putin launches attack on Ukraine as U.S. and Europe move to hit Russia's economy. Yeah, see, this is how... Yeah, see, this is how I know we're not going to do anything. You know, Putin's actually marching in guns and fucking men and tanks and missiles and firing missiles. What's our fucking shitty, flimsy response? Oh, we're going to take away your money. We're going to take away your money. We're going to take away your money. It's like... Gee, it's like... I can't... I, I don't know, man. I'm going to have a good night. Well, I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, or well, assuming we all live. I'm pretty sure we should live. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm in Yield Wolf, so I'm auto compounding. Therefore, I'm auto accumulating and buying the dips. Uh, and I pull out a little profit like I just did a short while ago. So I don't know. Hopefully, I'll be able to pull out more money in 24 hours from now. Because usually, because I wait every night basically before I go to bed to do it. So. Yeah, this isn't actually that bad. It's down at 35k, but us Americans are not exactly awake yet. That's in seven, six to seven hours. And if the stock futures are any indicator, I think we might actually hit the circuit breakers for the first time in, a, in a few, quite a few years. All right? A circuit breaker means that if the Dow or one of these things drops like 7 or 10%, trading on the stock markets is temporarily halted for like 20 or 60 minutes. And there are three circuit breakers. Um, so, yeah, in a way, I actually would like it if we do break, uh, hit the circuit breaker, you know, that would be, uh, oh, geez, here comes $7 gas prices, warns oil strategist. Yeah, crude oil is at 97 bucks. It's going way higher, by the way. It's going way higher, and the central banks need this to be higher, because they have long, big, all big banks, especially JP Morgan and Wells Fargo, have long positions on crude oil. So they need this shit to go way up so they, they can profit off of that. And they're getting exactly what they want. So this fucking, this fucking government, these fucking banks, these central uh, globalist banking pieces of shit, they're fucking everything up. But, you know, I think they'll get their coming up in one day. But in the meantime, yeah, I'll be big chilling in crypto, as I always do. See you next video. Try not to uh, whack yourself or panic dump. I mean, you're just going to have to take your lumps, right? And then, um, well, I guess I'll just see you in the next video. Hope you found this helpful. Spread it around if you did and like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah.
Thanks, and uh, good night or morning, wherever you are. It's time for me to go to bed.